What's up everyone, Rob from Mishimoto. We're back with our second installment on the making of the 2016 Plus Camaro 2.0 Turbo Baffled Oil Catch Can System. Let's have a look. So the first challenge when designing any catch can system is to figure out how the factory routed the blow by back into the intake manifold in order to be reburned. Uh, the 2.0T Camaro, or the LTG motor, presented a unique challenge, uh, as we talked about in the last video, because the PCV valve is actually integrated within the valve cover. So instead of using an external hose, it uses just an internal channel that routes the blow by directly down into the manifold. Since the PCV valve is internal to the valve cover, uh, it was really challenging to figure out how to uh, get the catch can in line with this system before it re-entered the motor. Luckily, GM had to use a plug, an external plug, when the valve cover was manufactured. So this allowed us an access hole to the PCV system. Uh, by examining it and looking at the PCV system, I could see that a small adapter may be able to be used to draw the blow-by gases outside of the motor into a catch can and then back in through the PCV valve uh, in order to collect those blow-by gases. So a prototype valve was made. Uh, this adapter was 3D printed uh, in order to prove that this concept would work. The idea behind the adapter is to seal the gases from going into the PCV valve immediately, allow the blow-by gases to route through the adapter into a catch can and then back through the adapter and into the valve. So once we had a proof of concept verified, we knew that we could move forward with the project. So the design was optimized from the 3D printed part uh, just to help with ease of installation and to ensure that it would make a good seal and uh, the part was then put into production. And uh, here you have the patent pending adapter that will come in all uh, 2.0T Camaro catch can kits. So like Steve was saying, we saw a lot of blow by accumulate with this system. We have the car in the studio now and we'd like to take the opportunity to show you what we've generated after 400 miles of driving. That about wraps it up for this episode of The Making Of. If you're interested in learning more about our products, head over to our engineering blog at mishimoto.com. If you have any comments or questions, put them below.